What if we train our white blood cells to get rid of cancer instead of taking traditional anti-cancer treatment? That's how CAR T cells work. In this video, we will talk about the mechanism and structure of CAR T cells, what are the approved indications for such a therapy, and how patient can receive this kind of therapy. Before talking about the structure, let's explain more about T cells activation process in first place. There are many types of T-cells, but all contribute in the same goal, which is identifying and fighting infections. To identify certain threat, T-cells must attach to an antigen. Now, not any antigens T-cells can attach to, only those which are attached by MHC receptors. Identifying that antigen is the first signal. The activated signal is CD3 zeta. To double-check the accuracy of that signal, a second signal is released from the costimulatory area called CD28. Now, a type of T-cells called killer T-cells is activated and will attach to the source of that signal and destroy it. Another type of T-cells called a memory T-cell will be activated once the body is threatened by the same antigen. Isn't that fascinating? What if this incredible feature can be utilized and controlled to work against any targeted cancer cells? Let's see how. Well, CAR T cell is short for chimeric antigen receptor. Chimeric refers to the fusion of different receptors that allow T cells to identify cancer cells antigen and destroy it with killer T cells. But we must fix a problem with T cells, which is only attaching to antigens bound to MHC receptors. To fix that, adding the arms of antibodies like that found on B cells, which can be designed to attach to any kind of proteins. Now, to activate T cells, we need the signaling domains, so adding both CD3 zeta and CD28 at the end of the receptor. To connect both domains, we need a transmembrane domain from another protein. This is called spacer or hinge. Finally, we have the chimeric antigen receptor T cells assembled to be activated against a specific antigen of interest. That sounds simple, but is it really? Let's find out how is this designed and how can we treat patients using this technique. We know that the entire receptors are made of proteins. So taking a segment of DNA that encode the different parts we mentioned earlier, then using a disarmed virus as a carrier to deliver them into T cells. For patients, first we must take white blood cells from patient's blood through a process called leukophoresis. Then inside the lab, T cells will be isolated from white blood cells and get genetically modified to target a specific cancer antigen. The modified T cells will be simulated to proliferate into million of cells. These CAR T cells will be transfused back to patient to fight against cancer. There are different CAR T cells based therapy approved to use against blood cancers, particularly B cell leukemia, lymphoma, and multiple myeloma. CAR T cells are incredible and the immunity against cancer can last for a long time because of memory T cells. But what if there was a less invasive way to achieve similar results? That's what we'll talk about in the next video, antibodies. Not only the most known monoclonal antibodies, but bispecific and trispecific antibodies which can tackle not just cancer, but a range of other diseases. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe for more.